surtax money, if Parks and Rec is ready to give up their surtax funding, let's put it towards Price Boulevard. That's a priority. Warm Mill Springs, water sewer, priority. Anything other than that is not a high priority on my list. Price Boulevard is. You're talking $4 million. Price needs to get done way before Warm Mill Springs needs to be completed. It's my opinion. It may not be the opinion of the board. But that's the way that I look at things. I think a little bit differently. Um, basically, enhancing this park is beneficial to the city. But when you're talking about taking away money from possibly doing something at Dallas White Park, there's a hell of a lot more people that go to Dallas White Park on an average than Warm Mill Springs. That park is full all day, all night. Activities, Warm Mill Springs has great attendance. We're making $20,000 a month. <clears throat> so it's going to take time to build up that month. But if we built it up right now, I don't believe that it's really enhancing the city of Northport as much as it is the residents of unincorporated Sarasota County that reside in that area. They've talked about sidewalks going down Triumpho. That's fine. But we can't go up and down Ortiz. So, I mean... Let's just look at this plan a little bit harder, a little bit thicker. I don't want to reallocate any monies of surtax to Warm Mill Springs. So those are my comments. I'm all in favor of going forward with this already. Again, uh, having lived here for 30 years and been through this and seeing how that area has just um, been in decline and it it shouldn't be. Um, it was privately owned and there weren't any takers then, uh, which is why the county and the city initially bought it. And even after we, we captured the whole thing, we still didn't have anybody that was interested in coming forward to, um, to do something with this. And uh, I, I know that we've had the feelers out there for partnerships and no one has expressed an interest. I think this is something for the people and it needs to be to be done already and instead of talking about it. Um, yeah. Commissioner McDowell. Yeah, um, we're Mineral Springs is making money. Everybody is aware of that. I'm stating the obvious again. Um, we have national and global visitors that come to this park. Global. They don't globally come to Dallas White. They come to, da to Warm Middle Springs. Um, This one before us is taking care of our asset. We stated boldly, no ad valorem taxes. Mm -hmm. And these are not ad valorem taxes. It's not even looking at this year's budget and saying, hey, we're going to use some of that. We potentially could even use some of the stimulus money for the utility aspect, which would knock, you know, over a million off of this cost too. That's why I would like to see this approved currently, and then we can get into the nuts and bolts later on. Uh, May is when we're gonna be talking about the stimulus package. Well, I keep calling it stimulus package, but um, the amount that's coming to us. Uh, so to me, we take care of this now, phase one, you get phase one done and the door opens up for everything else in the mm -hmm. future. But who wants to come and look at these things? I mean, everybody keeps talking about the P3. I'm telling you, I talked to them and they couldn't get the funding. If they couldn't get the funding for commercial, 
how they're going to get the funding to resurrect these ancient buildings. To me, you've got to get that done first. And then the door swings open for you to do whatever you want to do in the future. Sky's the limit, actually, when it comes to that. <laughs>